My name is Henry Chigi, a leadership coach and mentor that specializes in helping owners and executives of small to medium-sized companies that employ skilled blue-collar workers. My purpose here today is to help you have a life that will be better both at work and at home. I and millions more worldwide are living proof that it works. But like all knowledge, it needs to be practiced and implemented in order to work for you. Remember, if you like or learn from what you hear and see today, please like and subscribe. Let's start on a journey with the book, Leadership and Self-Deception, and the trip, Leadership Philosophy. Each year, as I again leaf through the pages of Leadership and Self-Deception, Yes, you heard that right. I reread this book every year. I find myself revisiting not only the book's teachings, but also the essence of my own leadership journey. The narrative crafted by the Arbager Institute has not only shaped my understanding of leadership, but has also intertwined with my personal leadership philosophy, which I call TRIP. And TRIP just stands for trust, both earned and given, respect for all, integrity, do what you say, and purpose. At its core, Leadership and Self-Deception, the book, is a revelation about the subtle self-deceptions that leaders, and indeed all individuals, fall into. The story unfolds within the premises of a corporation introducing us to characters who could very well be any of us, dealing with personal and professional challenges. The conversations, conflicts, and introspections these characters undergo serve as a mirror, reflecting our own tendencies to fall into self-betrayal. The Arbiter Institute, through this enlightening work, introduces the concept of being in the box a metaphorical state where one justifies their actions and behaviors while blaming others. The book isn't merely a leadership guide. It's an invitation to introspect, to recognize these boxes and to step out of them. Each and every time I've read it, I've unearthed a new layer of understanding about how I can better serve as a leader and as an individual. So what are some of the takeaway lessons from leadership and self-deception? One of my most profound takeaways from the book is the realization that problems in organizations and even in our personal relationships and lives often arise not from what we do, but from how we perceive others. Seeing people as people, not as objects or obstacles or gears, is a fundamental shift that the book advocates. In my leadership journey, I've recognized that this shift in perception isn't a one-time epiphany, but a daily practice. It requires constant, consistent effort to avoid falling back into the box, to avoid the traps of self-deception, and to truly see and understand the people we lead. So what is the TRIP leadership philosophy? My leadership compass has always been guided by the four cardinal points of TRIP. Trust forms the bedrock of all relationships. Trust both given to your team and trust earned by you. This respect ensures that everyone is valued regardless of their role. Next is integrity ensures that your actions align with your words and purpose serves as a North Star guiding decisions and paths like the North Star, external to ourselves and our self-interest. Drawing parallels with leadership and self-deception, it's evident that being out of the box aligns perfectly with the tenets of TRIP. When we view others as people, trusting relationships are nurtured. Seeing the inherent worth in every individual fosters respect. Stepping out of self-deception embodies integrity and being driven by a purpose larger than oneself is the very essence 
of purposeful leadership. In conclusion, the synergy between leadership and self-deception and the trip philosophy holds, it offers a holistic approach to leadership. While the book provides the tools to recognize and overcome self-deceptive practices, TRIP offers a path to manifest leadership that is genuine, effective, and most importantly, how you want to be treated yourself. I encourage every emerging and established leader to embark on this transformative journey and read or listen to the short, excellent book, Leadership and Self-Deception. Dive deep into the teachings of this book and let the trip philosophy be your guide. Together, they hold the promise of leadership that transcends roles and titles and delves into the realm of true impact and legacy. Join me in making it a part of your leadership style. Your life will be better both at work and at home. If you have already found and read this book before, please share your personal story of its impact on your life below. Thanks for listening and go out and be the leader you are meant to be.